I'm a bit anxious. I don't know why. I'm just, I don't know, very panicky. I love to travel, but it's just like traveling with four kids with a lot of luggage. There are no potholes on the road. Everywhere is excellent, excellent, excellent. <laughs> Today, I got a call to come and take uh, our passport that has been delivered for the visa that we submitted. We submitted in different envelopes, so it's like it's coming one after the other. This one was just for my son, Malachi. And I'm praying that everything works out well. Oh God. He's got his visa. Oh my gosh, we got him. Malachi has got his visa. Oh, I'm so happy. Wow. Malachi's visa is out. So I have to wait for my own and the other kids' own. So there's no way, and if they've given him visa, that means they've given all of us visa because there's no way they'll give my child visa and don't give mama visa. <laughs> Abby, Abby, do they do that? Please, oh, God help me. Good news only. Amen, amen, amen. I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. I'll talk to you guys later, all right. The moment of truth. I just got all these packs now. Hmm? Nervous. Aliyah, Camilla. Remember, we got Malachi's on yesterday. Sean and my own. Hi, baby. Just hold on. Nervous, nervous, nervous. <coughs> I'm here. I'm here. This kind of things, you don't have time to even cut it nicely. Sweetie, I'm here. Take. Take. Okay? Oh, Jehovah God. Oh, Jehovah God. I'm so nervous. Oh. We give God praise in all situations. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh God, God, God. See, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. <laughs> oh my goodness, son. <laughs> oh my God, a visa. Okay, so let's just say every other person has got to their visa. So I'm so excited. Thank you, Jesus. Baba God, I thank you. Hi guys. So um good morning. So today is day 10. We're doing the countdown day 10 and all that. And um today is going to be a day for vaccination. Wish me luck. This is one of those vaccines that um gives her a little bit of fever. I'm just praying that everything goes well and all that. Then we will go shop for the uh, boys' white polo shirt for their photo shoots. That will be on. Um, that will be in three days' time. So, wish me luck. And day nine. Day nine is for Aliyah's hair and Sean's hair. We're going to do a retouch for Aliyah, then like a re-lock <laughs> for Sean. And um, so that's what day nine is all about. Meanwhile, day 10, I had so much energy, so I cooked stew for the week. In fact, what's going to keep us till the last day. And I also made the um, the sauce that we will use for ayamashi stew. Do you know ayamashi stew? I know you don't know it. Go and Google it. It's one of Nigeria's delicacy. So, and I also sold our TV on day 10. I didn't plan to sell it that day, but the owner was ready and um, the person who was supposed to bring down the TV was also eager to put it down. So, so day 10 was quite um, productive so today day 9 we are going to the salon to do their hair so I'll give you clips the before and after all right Bye. Whoa.
film everything that I'm gonna do now. Hello, good morning. Thank you. All right. Should I stop? Not yet. Looking for where the car is. I saw a tree with a paddock here. Barbados. The Barbados, um, um guys going, going. Let me get a picture. Yeah. Wow, did you see my Sean? Yeah. Look at his hair. So cool. Look at my baby's hair. Ah, fresh and so clean, clean. <laughs> so it's raining um, Malachi and Camilla. Hmm. It is well. <laughs> This is New Horizon and we will be doing a photo shoot this area. Look at them. <laughs> And this is me back of the sink. Okay. So this is day six. Day six is for scrubbing anything scrubbable. So I scrubbed um, a suitcase. I stripped down the, what do they call it now? Oh God, what do they call it? Baby stroller. I stripped it down to wash it and all that. I was supposed to scrub the bathroom, but this madam here woke up. So I have to wait till she falls asleep again. Then I continue doing what I was doing. <laughs> I stripped it off so <laughs> about day seven. Oh my goodness this woman here made me I was running after her during the photo shoot I was exhausted I can't even begin to tell you but I saw a glimpse of the pictures and they they are so beautiful I can't wait to show you guys so house is being stripped so today is basically clean up and more cleanup. Day five would be more of sorting out clothes. Some there are some things that I've packed, but I think I might just let it go. So um, that's it, and um, we'll do more. I'll keep you posted. So countdown day five is to relax at the beach. I don't think we are going to relax at the beach. Oh, so, so day five, countdown day five is relaxing at the beach. And today I chose Magazine Beach because um, I'm also planning to get the some snapshots of the scenery so that I could blow it up and um, 
make it into a big picture frame and put in a new destination. I've done that for, um, what's the name? I've done that for Carinage. I've done that for Grandlands Beach. I'm going to do for Magazine Beach. Maybe Lanzapin, maybe, maybe not. But um, I have one of the cruise ship, yes. Yes, so I'm going to do all that and may blow it up into photo frames that will be displayed all over my home to like remember Grenada. <laughs> so let me just relax a bit. left to me alone I'll be swimming but I can't because of her yes baby yes let's go let's go let's go why well, I love this beach is because it's steep in fact everything about this beach is steep coming driving down here is steep coming to the beach here you have this high level where you can stay and rest then you go down if you want to take a dive it's just amazing amazing ah i'm gonna miss this place man look at that beauty hi god created let me look, think, I'm thinking if I could get a snapshot. God created. my hair so we did the photo shoots stayed at the beach i'm tired to my hair i need to take a good shower my in fact camilla was the reason i'm sweating like this because i was just chasing after her but that's good workout though so we're going now to it's time let's go and have a good bath i think she's gonna sleep after this after this run around there's no way she cannot sleep this is how steep um coming down and going up is to access the magazine beach. See how I'm sweating, oh, AC is on. So that's, that's, to show, that's to show that I had a very good workout. But in Grandan's beach, um, but these other beaches, you have to drive steep hills and all that. Same thing with Mont Rouge, you have to go, <laughs> Mont Rouge on, you have to be, it's very tricky. You have to know how to drive in that terrain. Um, which other beach again? Lanzapin Beach is quite accessible, but there's just a bit of drive. You just don't. Uh, but I think Lanzapin Beach is the most accessible, but it's in a like an exclusive area. I I don't know of La Sagres or La Vera. You guys tell me in the comment section how the access to beaches are. I love exclusivity. I feel that when you're trying to get to somewhere very cool, you have to pass through some, you know some huddles <laughs> some terrains not too hard huddles but you know so that when you now get ushered to the main deal you like whoa so that's why i feel uh, barbados beauty is is like it's it doesn't ease you into it you just go and you just see the beautiful bitches you just go you see so that that that's my opinion by the way but i love all the caribbean beaches at least the ones i've i've gone to so this is one i'm gonna miss this place man Oof. who leaves paradise for for chasing paper well me you you that's watching probably you're watching from uk us australia canada japan <laughs> um 
comic. Tell me the place in Malaysia, um, all these places, eh? Singapore. You're, you're watching from Russia. You're watching from North Korea. Huh? Mm -hmm. I hope your president has allowed you to watch. Please, oh, I know they. Anyway, I'm gonna miss this place. This is day five countdown. So after this, have a good shower rest a bit the kids are at school so i'm happy it's just me and camilla so when she's sleeping i'll start sorting out my luggage all right ciao okay guys you guys pray for me pray for me let's see if we can okay it's quite easy though it's not as hard as it looks but man is this hole in between i don't like as soon as you get past it i'm good okay we're good we are good. Then there's this bad part that they don't want to fix. Grenada, please fix this place. These potholes. There are no potholes on the road. Everywhere is excellent, excellent, excellent. There are no potholes on the road. Everywhere is excellent, excellent, excellent. <laughs> you guys wanted to eat this lady raw. <laughs> Probably she saw, she said what she saw. <laughs> Some people said probably she used the chopper. <laughs> well, man, I love Grenada. I'm going to miss this place. Let's just keep going. So as soon as you come out, you get access to the airport. Let me. So that's the airport. We just came out to the airport. So I'll talk to you later. Bye. So this is countdown day four. Today I did a lot of things and I can't even believe how much I have achieved today. So I went ahead to print some of the pictures, some of the Caribbean pictures that I shot. In fact, my name is written all over and I'm going to use that as my art piece when I get to my destination, the house that I will be in eventually. Then I did big blow up of um, the kids photos that um, they took, the photo shoot that they had. Okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. I'm reading some things. So that has been done. I'm going to have lunch now with a dear friend. I'm just gonna miss her, a wonderful lady. And we'll be going to Bella Milano. Uh, I don't think I'm going to vlog it. This is supposed to be a private thing. So, so that's it. After that, I'll pick up the kids. Then we, we have we we start running the rat race again in the house. But um, we're making progress. I'm a bit anxious. I don't know why. I'm just I don't know. Very panicky. I love to travel, but it's just like traveling with four kids with a lot of luggage. But, God that has brought me this far is not going to let me stranded or let me pass out while tra traveling. So I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. It's quite big. So. So today is 
countdown day three and it's past 12. I've been busy packing um, for countdown day four. Um, after meeting with my friend for lunch, I had to do some cleaning and um, just I did a lot of cleaning but somebody's coming for deep cleaning to just clean the place and make it speak and span for my landlord um, it's past 12 I'm talking I'm whispering so that I don't wake up the babies I'm whispering so that I don't wake up the kids and um, I'm packing like I'm packing everything like I'm packing packing right now so this was the only time that I had my landlord is going to check out the house the house is in good condition so we're leaving it in good condition but I wanted to speak and span for my landlord because he's a good man like get you a landlord who is good like he's good in every sense of the word I, I would recommend him any day any time so um, I want to keep the place speak and span just like we met it and um, so I'm still piling up some um, clothing for donation some I'm gifting out um, some a friend of mine a youtuber friend of mine she has a charity organization so I want to get some stuff so that I can give her then um, in the morning uh, I would do a couple of errands I would go for my spa at Silver Sands I would be waiting oh my god so my youtuber friend is gonna take care of the baby while I take this few hours out to just relax get a full 60 minute massage and um, breakfast then um, we'll, we'll run errands together we would go to SGU and I have a couple of people I want to say bye to at SGU and um, just bask one more time in the beautiful university oh my god I, I can't believe I'm feeling even emotional just talking about it because I remember the first day I stepped into that school I was like what this is a university there is no reason you would have as a medical student or any other student of, of any course to fail in that university because they put everything in place to make studying good for you you know ah, I'm going to bask in some of the views there the scenery I hope I have the time for that because um, we really have to do a lot of stuff at SGU then we head out to other places and that's it and um, I a little birdie told me that they're gonna my neighborhood there uh, I wouldn't just say my neighborhood but, like, but some friends in the neighborhood they want to say goodbye on day two oh god i'm getting confused on day two of yeah on day two of um the on day two countdown <laughs> on countdown day two so i am looking forward to it it's at at night so I'm pretty much packed so I'll just be indoors and they call me out and I'll do that then I'll keep you posted there um, it's just been an emotional period for me um, I'm gonna miss this place um, I'm gonna miss the people here the friends that I made I'm going to going to miss them I there was a sense of community here which I am so apprehensive of where we're going to but I believe in my spirit 
that are attra attracts good people like i said there are so many things i want to tell you but i'm still processing i'm still processing so when it is time i will tell you and um <laughs> i can't believe i'm talking this long i just want to pack up the other things like the house is bare like we've sold out our furniture and These are the last days. So I just want to, while I was packing, I just took out time to do my, <laughs> to coat my nails because you don't want to go to Silver Sand without <laughs> well prepped nails. I am, I just did that. I'm waiting for it to dry. It's dried already. So I want to sort out my jewelry and I think that's about it. I have my suitcases already. The strollers are coming with me and um, that's about it so I'll keep you posted countdown day number three so this is like the later part of that early morning video so I'm waiting for my friend so that we can uh, I'm waiting for my friend so that we can do the arrangement I go for my spa she helps me with the baby So um, I, we, you know, I, I just want to wish you all the best as you go. Um, Thank you. Safe flight and you know just um, give our regards to when you all get there. Thank you. And certainly we hope that at some point in time in the not too distant future our paths would cross each other again. Exactly. Thank you for the opportunity to gather and say farewell. And as you have blessed us with this table of food, we thank you. We pray to a blessed old body. I think we need some help from you. I mean, sometimes this job can teach you how to pick up on the juice. So, the mini burgers I'm giving you. I went and I looked at what it got. Hi guys, so this is day one. Day two, I could not vlog anything because it was so busy. I even put some clips of the um, farewell treats that my neighbors gave me. It was amazing. I felt love. I'm going to miss them all, like seriously. It was an amazing evening. The kids played up to late at night, you know, because that was like the last bonding for all of them. So this morning, I am going to just buy those little, little, you know, little, little, um, what do they call it now, rewards for the kids, maybe some biscuits, some, some cookies, some lollipops, not lollipops, that would be too much sugar, but some healthy snacks that could pop up here and there. Then. Um, toys, little toys. The one that I bought that I was going to keep, somehow they found it and they've started using it at home. So I have to look for another surprise. Yeah. And Say hi. This one belongs to me. Yeah. Hi. See these ones? They're already sleeping. <laughs> oh, I know. Mel. So, we're all ready. This girl is giving me serious. Look at her, look at her, look at her. Okay. Hi. Hey. Did you drink your head? 
Barbados waiting a layover 45 minutes and the kids are really keeping me busy. I thought this one would be sleeping by now, but she's not. Still waiting. I'm so tired, my goodness. Not easy. Oh, we move. Thank you. 